Next few classes will be on neck dissection. So, I will go through uh, definition of ne uh, neck dissection, the regional lymphatics and neck anatomy, then the types of neck dissection, uh, indication and contraindication of neck dissection in general, and after that, the different types of incision used for neck dissection, and then we will uh, discuss the different types of neck dissection in detail. Uh, including the uh, recorded videos. As YouTube has given so many restrictions for showing uh, recorded videos and also live surgery, I'll, I don't know how much I can but I'll try my best. So uh, this neck dissection is a surgical procedure for the management of metastatic neck nodes. So we can define it as a uh, neck dissection as a surgical procedure in which the fibro fatty soft tissue content of the neck is excised so as to remove the lymph node that are contained okay so it is uh, basically the neck dissection is excision of the fibro fatty soft tissue content of the neck so as to remove the lymph node which are included in that area so going to the history of neck dissection it was gasparo Aselli in 1622 he described Lacteal vessels indicating the presence of a lymphatic system. So everything started from there. And in 1847, Warren described an operative technique for the removal of metastatic lymph nodes. But it was George Cry Sr. in 1906 who gave a very standardized technique for the removal of neck nodes. And it was Hess Martin who is regarded as the father of modern head and neck cancer surgery first described a concise description of radical neck dissection was given by Hayes Martin and his associates and this radical neck dissection is considered still it is considered as the gold standard in the treatment of uh, management of uh, metastatic neck nodes okay so coming to the regional lymphatics and neck anatomy it was already described in earlier videos the description uh, the link is given in the description box you have to see and understand that then only you can go with the different types of neck dissection so what are the types of neck dissection different classifications are there named classifications are there to uh, divide the neck dissections like the medina classification then spiros classification etc but the widely internationally accepted one is an American uh, Academy of Head and Neck Surgery which is also endorsed by American Society of Head and Neck Surgery. By uh, according to that we can divide neck dissection into radical neck dissection which is a classical one. In radical neck dissection we divide two groups one is uh, lymph nodal group and another one is non-lymphatic group. Okay, so a lymph, there, is, there is a group of lymph nodes and also there is non-lymphatic structures. Okay, so in radical neck dissection there is a classical format. It's a baseline and all these three other uh, types are based on the radical neck dissection. So in modified radical neck dissection we preserve one or more of the non-lymphatic structures. Okay, so it is again divided into type 1, type 2 and type 3. So that we will discuss uh, in detail. So in a modified radical neck dissection, one or more of the non-lymphatic structures are preserved in uh, reference to radical neck dissection. In extended radical neck dissection, some group of lymph node group and also non-lymphatic structures are removed. It is extended. So do, we are doing extra. We are removing extra lymph node group and also non-lymphatic structures in relation to or in uh, uh, reference to the radical neck dissection. So modified we are preserving. In extended radical we are removing extra. In selective uh, neck dissection we are preserving some of the lymphatic groups in relation or um, with reference to radical neck, uh, neck dissection and again there are four types of selective neck dissection one is a supra omohyoid neck dissection jugular or the androlateral
Then central compartment neck dissection or the anterior neck dissection and posterolateral neck dissection. So the radical neck dissection, modified radical and extended radical, uh, they are collectively called a comprehensive neck dissection. Okay, so this is according to American Academy of Head and Neck uh, Surgery to radical neck dissection, modified radical again divided into type 1, type 2 and type 3 and extended radical neck dissection and selective uh, neck dissection which is again divided into four types. So these are the types of neck dissection. There are also two terms under different types of neck dissection. One is an elective neck dissection in which we do a neck dissection uh, in clinically negative node. It's also called prophylactic neck dissection though it is gives a very false impression. Okay, so elective neck dissection and therapeutic neck dissection which we do for a clinically positive node. Okay, so coming to the indications. These are the indications of in general, general indication for a neck dissection. One is any clinically positive nodal disease in the neck. Very obvious. And advanced tumor stage in the uh, node negative neck that is uh, T3 and T4. So these two are in general the indication for a neck dissection. Clinically positive uh, uh, node in the neck and also advanced stages with the N0 neck. Okay. And coming to the contraindications. There are absolute contraindication and there are also relative contraindication. Okay. So, these three are absolute contraindication. That is an unreachable primary, inoperable neck disease and distant metastasis. So, unreachable primary, uh, inoperable neck disease and distant metastasis are absolute contraindication for neck dissection. And patients who are unfit for major surgery. Uh, related. So unfit for major surgery due to poor general health and also poor neurocognitive state is a relative contraindication. And an inoperable neck disease uh, is an absolute contraindication if it is involving the uh, skull base and also deep musculature of the neck. The carotid artery involvement was can be taken as an uh, absolute uh, contraindication or a relative contraindication because in the recent uh, advance there is so many options for a carotid reconstruction. So the carotid, uh, involved, carotid artery involvement earlier it was taken as an absolute contraindication along with the uh, inoperable neck disease but now the scenario has been changed and it is not at all an absolute contraindication can be taken under relative also. Okay. So, these are the indications and contraindications for neck dissection. And coming to the incisions, we can divide the incisions for neck dissection broadly under three headings. 